Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. Always got another video for you today. Today's video, I'm going to go over five quick tips uh, for better pass defense. This is something that you can do every single play uh, to be a better pass defensive player, as well as getting more interceptions, more batted balls, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, we're going to go and we're going to get right into the video. Now, one of the first things that you should do just about every single play is try to pick a player that you're going to use on defense that really has the least least assignment possible uh, on this particular play it's an all-out man blitz so there's no player that has no assignment but the guy manning the running back is probably my best opportunity to have somebody that has no assignment because a lot of times running backs block so that's going to be my best shot uh, if they you know I have to stick to the assignment but on a play like this where it's third and 11, that pretty much gives me a much higher indicator of where the ball is going to go. So the running back, even though he, I'm going to leave him open in the flat, doesn't have as high of a chance of running for a first down after the catch as, say, the receiver that's streaking right over my head. So I know right away that the down and distance is pretty much going to be a pretty good predictor as far as where my opponent's going to go. So third down, 11, fourth down, they're going to be throwing it past the marker. They're going to be throwing it deep. They're not typically going to be throwing it on a catch and run. So in that scenario, I'm going to drop back to the underneath route. Now, the next thing you want to make sure you do is keep an eye on the quarterback. Where he's pointed is going to be where the ball's going. You can see right here, he's pointed downfield. If you're, if you're throwing to the flat, the quarterback's going to shift his body and turn. So things like that can really give away where the ball's going to go as well. Things like when the ball is going to leave the quarterback's hands as well as what direction based off of the animation of what the quarterback's doing. So these are all very simple things you can keep an eye on as you're playing. Now in the next series of this uh, same game, it's first and ten, so there's really no indicator. But the fact that he's in the exact same formation lets me know that he probably thinks that he left something on the field there, that he could have got something out of what he didn't get the first time when he threw the pick. So I move down. All of a sudden, he starts going with cadence, once again, watching the quarterback. So I know that he's basically making an adjustment. And the adjustment he's going to make is to my weakness. I just vacated the center of the field, so that's the weakness that he sees, and I have to be aware of that, and I have to protect that weakness. So on the very next play, he tries to do the exact same thing, and I come up with another pick. So two pass plays, two picks, pretty much the exact same formation. Let's go and reverse that. And now we can see that the adjustment he made was a pretty simple streak. That's all he did. He saw a weakness and he decided that he was trying to bomb it up over the top once again. Like I said, people don't really change the way they think. He, he tries pretty much the exact same play, only this time he doesn't take the uh, the curved angle. And we come down with another easy pick. So very simple. Very next play on a very different game. Uh, we're going to do a couple different things here. Number one, we're going to uh, make sure that we protect the open side of the field first. A lot of people typically run, if you're looking for indicators on where people run the ball, um, it's typically going to be the open side of the field first because there's more opportunity to work. Now in this particular play, uh, he has one tight end to that side so it's a little bit different but it's still something that you always be aware of on this particular play they're actually he's blocking all of his tight ends there's only two receivers on routes on the left side but those are routes that I can't affect anyway, and apparently on the other side he had a release of the tight end where once he released that receiver, I see it right away, I go over and I use it, the only guy in my zone, and we get an easy pick that turns into a pick six. So very simple play on the very next play. Very same game a little bit later uh, in the gameplay, we have another series, very similar situation. People have a tendency to do the same things over and over and over, so very similar formation. I'm going to make sure that I go to the open side of the field. Here he's got some drag routes going, and sure enough I just undercut it and I would add a pick six but I lost my uh, balance when I you know when the camera changes and you know that stuff happens then on the very next play uh, we have open side of the field once again I'm going to follow the drag because like I said people tend to do the same things over and over and over and then I see I've left my zone entirely which is what not something you want to do so I have to get back quickly obviously he was probably following the drag and that's why it took him forever to uh, to see the guy open over the middle of the field but I get back in time and I make another play you can't go too far away from your zone so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below